but here we are. We have Barls playing as Burgundians, Vinchester as the Georgians. We're going to switch Barls to red, and we're going to keep Vinchester in purple here. We're going to respect, because Vinchester had such a good performance against Tato today, we are going to respect the purple color, which we rarely do for him. Uh, but he 3 0 Tato today, so he, you know, he kind of deserves it. We're on the wall. That's where we're going to be starting off on. And, uh, well, on the wall, we have this guy, a stone wall, all the way through the center. You can't take it over. You have to break it. And it's 1,080 HP. So it's strong, but it's not that strong in the grand scheme of things. On one side, we have the Georgians for Vinchester. On the other side, we have the Burgundians for Burles. Burgundians, a more meta civilization pick here. I just wonder what, uh, what Vinchester's going to cook up with the Georgians. Mr. Late sent me over yesterday. Unlucky on the lab yesterday. Oh, you're from Pie Stream. <laughs> that was funny, bro. I was like, I hope I get a god tier mon. <laughs> I got the best moveset with the worst stats ever. <laughs> and he died like a dog. Oh, well. <clears throat> Is this a video replay? Dave at 930. Hey, man. Best of seven, sudden disaster, can't miss it, you know? So, Georgians, they have the mule cart. Their eco is going to be pretty good with the fortified churches. That was a horrendous Ibex push there from Vinchester, but it's fine. I mean, it's not like he needs something super quick. There is a wall in between him and his enemy. But other than the... As Vinchester now brings in the boar with the scout, too. Nice. Um... Other than the fortified churches boosting the eco and maybe providing a little bit of additional defense over a traditional Yeesh. monastery, like, what are the Georgians really going to do for you here against the Burgundians? The Burgundians feel like they have the counters to the units that you can make. Yo, Johnson, thank you for the tier one. Welcome in, bro. Welcome in, man. Manaspa? You remember, you're on one town center eco, so Manaspa are a, a, quite an expensive unit. Maybe not in comparison to other unique units of similar strength, but they are still very, very expensive. And you can't add an additional TC in this game mode. So your economy is going to be super limited, and I don't know if you can really create as many as you need, especially when the Burgundians can go up to Imp and maybe add help themselves or at, just add monks, could counter the Manaspa very well. We'll see what Vinchester goes for. The player who played Armenians, I can't remember who it was, but someone did play Armenians, and they were up against, I believe, the Byzantines on this map, and they went for warrior priest, trebuchet monk. Maybe it's just like a monk trebuchet type of play with Vinchester, and he's counting on the Georgian pretty efficient eco to carry him through. On the other side, though, we have Burgundians. So the wood upgrade's already in, in the Dark Age. One age earlier than most, or all civilizations can get it. And Brawl's eco should be better, theoretically, than Vinchester's. Yo, Demon, thank you for the 25, my friend. 10% is nice when you can add TCs. It is. It is. Vinchester's going to push. Wow. Okay. So Vinchester is going to come forward here with these vills. He'll have to contest with the snow leopards that are strategically positioned to be annoying on this map. And he's going to batter through the stone wall here with his vills. And if Burles doesn't see this, Burles might be in trouble. But look at this. Burles is like, bro, I know you. I know you. And he's hanging out near this area. He's waiting to see any sign of these villagers, and he's missed it. Let's hope he comes back. Let's hope he comes back. Vinchester is going to start battering. Oh, no! The Vils can't attack the wall! <laughs> They're repairing the wall! <laughs> oh, Vinchester 100% didn't know that. And Burles is going to be like, hey, dude. They can't attack the wall. They can't attack the wall. They can only repair the wall because it's a Gaia wall. Oh my god, that's such a throw. <laughs> but so understandable. It's so understandable.
And now he has to rely on only the tower attacking this, which is going to take a very long time. You can see it right now. It's still doing decent damage. But a push like this really relies on the timings. It relies on getting into your opponent's eco with the towers and disrupting everything. And now Vinchester is like two minutes delayed from where he wants to be. Like he didn't want to have to make a tower here. That is so funny, dude. That is so funny. I had no idea that the villagers would repair this wall. That explains why we don't see more villager rushes on this map. Oh, man. Vinchester is adding scouts behind this. So he will have scouts here. Barls is going for the full wall because he's been warned. And when Vinchester gets through, he'll need another 75 stone for another tower to support this push. Or he has to go for an archer range, which he doesn't have, right? Vinchester wisely stone gating behind here. But, I mean, this is really, really bad for him. 50 stone, Dave. Oh, yeah, 125. Yeah, true. Johnson, thank you for the gift itself. It's early, guys. It's early. Uh-oh. He's got loom. He's fine. He's got a tower. He's fine. Vinchester, this is just... After such a great performance against Tato, this is not a great start to this set. He didn't realize the villagers couldn't batter their way through the walls. He's now lost a scout to the TC. Barls is just so comfortably walled behind here. And Barls has gone for a nice, efficient mining camp on the gold and the stone. He can take some stone. He can get a castle, maybe. Maybe even attempt, like, a a modified, like, fast Imperial type of play. If he wants to push out through the center. Or just go Castilier to push all this stuff back. I'm not sure about opening with a lot of monks here. Because Vinchester has the scouts. But Vinchester is still producing scouts. And he's just tossing them in. Up against a, a, a double layer of wall with stone wall behind. Is there any way through? I, I don't really think so. I can imagine the howls of color, colorblind people right now. Is red and, and purple that bad? I thought it, purple and blue was the bad one. Does Burgundy and Eco just win this? We'll see. I mean, it's just not a very good start for Vinchester at all. You can see from the, the res collected, like, Brawl's eco is really far ahead. They have a pause right now. Let me double check. Vinchester is going to the bathroom. You think he could have gone, like, in the hour leading up to this set? But uh, he really has to go. Maybe he got the poops, dude. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe he did. We don't know. Maybe he's in the bathroom right now. Like, I can't believe I tried that. <laughs> Am I an idiot? <laughs> oh, man. Castle Age, a minute and 43 seconds away. Vinchester has a really solid eco. It's actually better a better fundamental eco than Brawls because he has more farms set up. But with Castle Age on the way, Brawls is going to have a lot more versatility here in a few seconds. And of course, Brawls already with those eco upgrades, right? For a long time. Love to see the second wood upgrade, but he doesn't have the food. His food eco is... Not great. Vinchester, he's through now. Take a look at his scouting. He knows exactly what Barls is doing. He doesn't know about the stone collection, though. And Barls will likely go for a castle, maybe a couple Castile to clear out this area, and then try and grab these relics. There's always three relics on your side. He can only see one, but he knows there's at least two more. 
Or that's Vinchester, sorry. Burles can see all three of these. And he knows there's three more relics on Vinchester's side. And I love the fact that Vinchester actually went for this gate back here. I really do like that. It's a nice touch. So Burles just can't run right through and snag his own. Burles is in Castle Age. Goes for the castle. Vinchester sees the castle. And just starts killing houses. <laughs> and now he's exploring the rest of this area. I don't think he's going to be in Castle Age fast enough to uh, steal the relics from Burles. But he will have enough stone for a castle of his own. And he's actually got a really solid farming economy. 13 farms. Zero on gold, however. So if he wants to go for monks or something like that, or maybe an adapted fast Imperial Age build of his own, I mean, he really needs to get villagers on gold. For sure. Yo, what's up, Brass? <laughs> that salami emote, dude. <laughs> I like the truck one. The truck one is great. The Ford F-150. GG's go next. We'll see, man. I mean, Vinchester, never underestimate the power of having a stable farm economy. And he's adding more. Like, it's just, it's just a, a beautiful base to start expanding your strategic options, right? And Barl still kind of has to invest into that. Like, Barl is going for a heavy investment onto gold. And now he's making petards, too. Still chasing around these scouts. Vinchester goes for outposts so he can get a little bit more vision on this side. Let's take a look. Winchester is going to have plenty of vision, and I, I don't think he's going to be all that surprised by the petards. It's still only one, and the scouts are still here, so Barls is trying to hide that as best he can. And he's also not collecting the relics right away, because the scouts will just kill those monks. All right, Castle Age is in for Vinch. 600 stone. 50 away from having a castle. Does he put it right here? And then does he shift everything onto the gold? He puts a fortified church. So he's going to grab the relics himself. Okay, important. Let's let's rewind there. I wasn't looking over here. Did he see the petard? Vinchester comes in. The petard is there. He didn't see it. Oh my god. He didn't see it, and he only killed one monk, too. So the petard will come over here. It's going to kill that. Vinchester has full vision on this. He knows what's coming in. But still, great job from Burles to try and pull that petard away. And the quick walls come in. Vinchester stopping the Castilia from getting into his eco. He's going to quick wall his villagers up here. He's got more vills coming over here, but he needs to make sure to keep them safe, and he'll need to pull these back. Fortified Church at the back is great. That allows him to garrison up to 10 villagers, and it also boosts everything by 10% on this side. But not in time to save these two villagers, so Burl's clapping him back a little bit, getting two eco kills, the first two of the game. And Barls also has a scout over here, so he's going to discover this additional villager. And it's just not its just not a good situation for Vinchester. Not good at all. She's going to die. Castle will go up. Barls now has outposts of his own. He can cleanly grab the relics over here. And he might even be able to come forward and snag this relic, potentially. First monk is coming up from Vinchester. Brawls is kind of guarding this relic. He he should get it before he gets this one for sure. This one's fairly consistent. And Brawls' eco looks phenomenal. The resources are there to maybe think about Imperial Age. The stone is there to think about another castle. The Castilia are still back here. And that's another two dead villagers as the monk hops in and out of that fortified church. Still don't think they should be able to do this. Like, that, that's so dumb. <laughs> and good. The monk dies. Good. There wasn't enough room. The mule cart was taking up a spot in the church. 
And another villager dies, Manaspa now, making their way over. Long term, Manaspa are better than Castilia, like they're just a better unit, but the Castilia have that charge attack, right? So their first attack until they charge up again is going to be pumping out a ton of damage. And if Burl's micro is well enough, he could really take full effect of that. He's waiting for his charge to come back. And it is back now on all three units. Unfortunately, he does lose that guy, though, before he can use it. I actually like Burl's position. Yeah, Burl's has a way better position here. Like... Better eco, better timing to Imperial Age, better timing to that second castle. He's got a ton of monks to counter the Manaspa. I mean, nine monks on the field with Sanctity. They're beefy. He still didn't get this relic, but that's fine. He's got three of his own, and Barls will be on the way to Imperial Age. Behind in eco upgrades as Burgundians, I don't think it matters right now. I really don't think it matters. Like the with the low villager count at the moment, how much is that second wood upgrade really giving you? Wheelbarrow is nice. I suppose. The fortified church is boosting the eco is nice. But Barls has food generation and gold generation from the relics. He's getting the second wood upgrade now. And he has more villagers overall. As the Manaspa come in for the monks, Brawl's monk micro is really solid. He gets three, he gets four Manaspa, and he's healing up his monks behind. And for that charge, Vinchester lost four Manaspa and only killed one monk. Oh, that's tragic. And now he loses a monk himself. He will get a couple Manaspa back, but that's a time window that he's missed to deny this castle. Disaster. And even the light cap goes down without getting a kill. Oh boy. This is uh this is not good for Vinch. Not good at all. How do you stop this? Ten monks, twelve, fourteen now, with another one in the queue. You allow the monks to get their imp upgrades. You allow Barls to get Trebs out way before you. That's the solution for Vinchester. He will spend 1,000 gold on Heresy. Which will mean that his units die instead of turning to the other side when they get converted. It's like, it's a great upgrade. It's fantastic, right? It can sway the game. We've seen it change the game many times, but at the end of the day... You're paying 1,000 gold so that your units still die. It's, I mean, just a little underwhelming, you know? Never understood the 1K cost for that. I mean, it has, it's a big technology. It's, it's really, really good, especially if you're in monk v. monk wars, or if your opponent's got like 15 monks like Brawls does. Uh, but you have to have a solid foundation behind it to be able to take advantage of the first initial fight when you clear up all the monks. Like, it's definitely it's definitely the correct cost for the tech. It's just such an, uh, a niche tech as Atonement now comes in for Brawls. And look at this creativity from Brawls. He's going to wall in front of his trebs. He's going to wall. Now, the question is, does he go after this castle or does he wall himself all the way over? He's walling himself all the way over to the TC. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Do it. He's walling himself all the way over to the TC. This is tunnel gaming right here. This is tunnel gaming, but Vinchester's got a lot. He's got a lot. Remember, if you lose your town center, you're dead. You're out, and what a setup here from Burles. He's got the extra gate. He's got the full tunnel set up as the Manasma come in. They're going to die. I think Burles will realize that uh, heresy is in here as his monks are not getting the units converted, and the TC will survive, but the Manasma do go down. Burles also loses some Castilia over here. 
at the end of the day, Vinchester's army is dying. It is dying. And there's more Castilia to deal with the light cap. And there's another Treb rolling up. This is getting more and more difficult for Vinchester. And the tunnel is complete. The tunnel is complete, but the villagers opened the gate because, of course, they did. Because they're useless. <laughs> and Vinchester goes for a desperation castle to try and stop the tunnel. And the light cap have killed so many monks. Can Vinchester do this? Can he hold on? He's got very limited wood to repair this. He's very cleverly put the villagers under the TC so they can tank some of these trebuchet shots instead of the town center. But it's still taking damage, guys. It's still taking get damage. And now Vinchester is going for petards to try and break the gates, to try and get in. Meanwhile, Barls has Cassilia under here trying to kill the villagers. Barls will wall off this trap. <laughs> what on earth? Barls. With the 5,000 IQ plays, he's also got more trebs from behind taking care of this castle. And he goes through another gate. Unbelievable. It's all in on this treb, baby. Everything revolving around this trebuchet. It is walled in there. He is nice and cozy. The gate has gone down over here, but there's another one behind. And Vinchester is just looking for whatever wood he can to be able to afford repairing that town center. Against this one treb. <laughs> That's so amazing. That is incredible. <clears throat> now the house is being repaired. Villagers are coming over. The TC is still under fire. Vinchester is still trying to survive. And even if he does survive this, I mean... Charles has taken out all his castle spawn here, but still, he refuses to lose to just one Treb. He doesn't want to lose to just one unit. And, oh man, the Petards have taken out the gate. The Treb is going to go down. Oh no. The Treb goes down. Vinchester holds this somehow. He holds it. And all we're left with is the remnants of this tunnel which brawls can still take advantage of look he's rebuilding the tunnel it's collapsed they had a minor disaster okay they lost some people but they're gonna rebuild they're gonna rebuild petard coming in getting converted it will just die though remember heresy is complete 14 Castilier, and the Trebs are setting up here. <laughs> oh no, it's three now. GG. <laughs> what a great play from Barls. Beautiful. Beautiful play from Barls. We love to see it. Vinchester, I mean, Heresy really helped him. I think Heresy was what kept him in the game there. If those Manaspa had been converted when he charged in there, I mean, Barls would have just protected that trap forever. Great attempt to live from him, but unfortunately for Vinchester, even if he did live, there was no like real win condition for him. How is he ever going to push all this stuff back when he's still sitting in Castle Age? It was more a question of how long could he survive. So, Barls takes game number one on the wall. And then uh, he wins with the Burgundians up against the Georgians. Georgians need a buff. Oof, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, I'm gonna run I'm gonna run an ad here just so we don't get one during the middle of the game. I'm gonna try and do that today. We've got two best of sevens. Sell out I dude. 
I have to make sure I run them in between so we don't get them in the games. We've got two best of sevens today. Uh, and the second best of seven is really sick. Did they still patch this game? Yep. We have a patch. I mean, we have hot fixes probably twice a month, maybe. Or once a month. And then patches come out like every two months. And on average, we have like two new expansions a year. There's a lot of updates this game is getting. Yeah, food giving trees has been fixed. <laughs> it's so weird saying that. <laughs> food giving trees. <laughs> what do you mean, Dave? Like an apple tree? No. Like a a pig tree. Petard equals Jean Bureau. Petard is not Jean Bureau. Thank you, ACCM, for the 19 months. ACCM, are you available on Monday? Do you want to do you want to do a show match on Monday? Look at the petard icon. Shut up. You're just saying all bald people look alike. That's what you're saying right now. It's very insensitive. All right, let me get into game number two. It's going right now. Just started it. It's going to be on Socotra. I was distracted by ACCM. <sighs> Shameless, dude. Shameless. Monday, which time? We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll send you a message. Okay. Socotra. Marl's playing as Incas. We speed up here. Took me a little while to get in. Vinchester playing as Mayan, so we have a full mezzo matchup, and it looks like Vinchester is coming forward with the extra villager that Mayans get, and he is going to attempt to lame Barls. I think Barls already pushed in one of Vinchester's extra zebra over here, and now Barls is looking for this villager. He's scouting a little bit, and he's got a villager of his own, plus the eagle there, to kind of prevent any of the lames from happening. Vinchester has not found... His opponent. He doesn't know where he is. Brother, maybe because his berries are all the way out here, he doesn't assume that he's going to be there. Like, he doesn't know. Oh, man. That's not great, but Vinchester will figure it out. Process of elimination. There's relics over here. There's absolutely nothing over here. So, means that his opponent should be over on this side, and he's found him. He's found him. Sharon, thank you for the 36, bro. First of all, I'm okay. sick of the term weeb. I didn't study half a semester of Japanese history and do a Google Maps tour of Tokyo so that some uncultured swine would walk around calling me a weeb like it's an insult. Japanese culture is my life, not some sort of... Thank you, Texas Speech, for cutting that off. <clears throat> we appreciate that. Thank you, Sharon, for the 36 months. Glimpse into uh, Sharon's life. Your doctor actually called earlier today. Um, Sharon, he said, you're very, you're very ill. That's right. He said, you're extremely ill. Uh, and the only cure for the illness, all right, is to touch some grass, brother. <laughs> those, those are his words. <laughs> All right, villagers still hunting here from Vinchester. He's not giving up. And this is difficult because Brawl's TC is positioned perfectly, really close to the wood line. And look at where the zebra are. Oh my, can Brawl's even see those? He doesn't even know, dude. He doesn't even know. He must have thought these were his zebra or something. They're so perfect that they suck. They're so perfect that they're horrible. <laughs> they're the best. Goddamn zebra you've ever seen on a Sakatra generation. And they're so good that they're awful <laughs> because he can't see them. <laughs> Look at him. It wouldn't surprise me if Brawls like pauses the game soon and says like bug map? Question mark.
He's gonna find him. Surely. And he's gonna be like, bro, why do I have these rock zebra back here? And now he's not gonna be able to push them because he's gonna push them up against the edge of the map or the wood line. And it's just gonna be a pain. But he'll get those to the TC shortly enough. He even had to go for an extra farm there. Like, he just didn't have the same food supply that Vinchester had because he didn't know where his zebra were. It's a very good map generation for Barls. Like, it's it's really solid, and he does manage to click up to Feudal Age on time. He's got the stone back here. He's got the gold back here. And Vinch is going to see these zebra and be like, oh, come on, bro. You got those? But he also knows that Barls has really delayed uh, bringing those in. Remember, Brawls did get one of Vinchester's Zebra earlier in the game. He pushed it immediately. Got here late. What happened in game one? They were tunneling, bro. Brawls was tunneling. That's right. A really solid play from Brawls in game one. Vinchester is going to make the barracks up on the hill here. Incas should theoretically be better than Mayans here. Like, Mayans will have the better start. Because they get the additional villager, they're gathering a little bit more food from their hunts and their goats and whatnot uh, overall, which is, is great for the start on Socotra. But Incas, once you start producing units, will be spending less food to make those units. So a really, really solid option for them. And Mayans are going to have to try and keep up with that. Eagle Scout, Archer range. Mines want to play into Archers here. Incas want to play into Skirms. And if your opponent is playing into Skirms, well, you got to go into Skirms yourself. Until you have a, a decent number of Eagles on the field. And Feudal Age Eagles are really slow to produce. So it'll probably be an Eagle-Skirm matchup. And Vinchester already going for the Skirmishers. I am surprised that Barls is so calm building that range he built it with one villager like you are incredibly close to your opponent and it feels like you really need to prioritize the production instead he built it with one vill the range was up quite slowly and that enables vinchester to come forward here with the tower and that tower is going to be cutting off the uh the berries from barls now, Barls will just go back here with Vils because he can't be asked to push those in. He does have a stone available to him, so he should be fine against the tower pressure, but it's a really great position for Vinch. And now Vinch spreading out his skirmishers and just stalling out the food prod from Barls. You can't farm when something is attacking the farm, which is very realistic. It makes sense, right? Like if a guy is throwing a javelin at you when you're trying to hoe down the fields... It feels like your efficiency would be nuked a little bit. Hold me down? Okay. Good micro from Barls. Pulling away the weak eagle. And he gets an eagle from Vinchester. Even outnumbered as he tries to push in this way. Barls is getting real aggressive. He's trying to save this vill. And he, of course, he was never going to save her. She was too weak. And he might even lose another Vill. Vinchester defending quite nicely on this side. Brawls will need to retreat with these two Vills. But he's already lost two. And remember, Vinchester got the additional villager earlier in the game. Both players a little bit of idle TC time. But Brawls right now, 25 villagers. Vinchester sitting at 29. And Vinchester has way more army too. Eight army versus four. And Barls loses another villager. This is tragic for Barls. Now he's forced into a situation where even at, he, he either has to full commit onto Feudal Age production and try and take back this middle. Or he has to full commit onto Walls and Fast Castle to get some advantage in this game. But the eco is just not there to do either of those things. 26 vills. Doesn't feel like it's enough, right? He hasn't even taken all his zebra yet.
And Twitch ran an ad anyway? Yeah. Classic Twitch. Classic Twitch. Thank you for being here, everyone. We have a long day of sudden disaster. We've got two best of sevens. I look forward to spending it with you. It's going to be a good Saturday. We're all still repairing this tower. It costs less for Incas to repair their tower, right? Just like it costs less for them to build it. Yeah, Vinch has a really solid advantage. You're not wrong. The only problem for him is that his farming eco isn't really there yet. Um, whereas Barrels has a really good food economy. But, I mean, two of those farms are basically stalled out. Can't take him. There goes another unit. It wasn't a villager. As Barrels continues to defend. If you're wondering about the hill bonus advantage with towers, it doesn't apply in tower versus tower fights. There's not enough damage... For the, the calculation, at least watchtowers, there's not enough damage for it to take effect. So, a tower on a hill versus a tower down a hill doesn't really matter. Alright, Vinchester going for another tower on the farms. Barls will go for a defensive one, and this tower, Vinchester knows, will never probably be able to take out this tower from Barls, but what it does do is it stalls out an additional three more farms. So you're just nuking his food eco. Vinchester finally losing Vildo, and Barls might kill another one. He does not. Vinchester actually lost three Vils over here. Wow, dude. So he wasn't paying attention. And I wasn't paying attention over here either. Barls lost one more, and Vinchester lost three. Eco KD evening out just a little bit. And both players floating some res. Barls floating 500 wood. He'll need a market, which he's going for right now. Also pushing back this tower. Vinchester trying to micro his archer behind and take out these villagers. And Barls has defended successfully over on this side. However, Vinch is thinking about Castle Age. He's got a market back here. He's got the gold. He's got a pretty decent map himself. With some gold and stone back here. And the main gold in a fairly safe position. As he goes for another tower on the farms. Didn't end up casting that 4am set. No, I just missed it, dude. <laughs> I just missed it. I really wanted to, though. Are you sick? No, it's just early in the morning. So like it sounds like I'm I'm stuffed up probably, but it's just early. For like an hour and a half after I wake up, I have to like go through a process of like clearing my sinuses, you know. Castle age on the way for both. It's actually really close. The eco is not close though. Vinchester Taking advantage of the Mayans. Still enjoying O2. Hashtag Team Bald still there. Yes. I am the captain of Team Bald. We're very proud of our accomplishments. Uh, we're actively recruiting. That's right. How good would Corridor Gaming be here? Dude, you've seen Corridor Gaming. You've seen it. I've done it on Socatra. It's extremely effective. That game, I will never forget that game I played with Mully on Socatra. Where my douche failed. And I was at what, 16 vils in Castle Age? Corridor gaming, bro. Vinchester's gonna attempt a castle. Vinchester is gonna try for a castle. Barls should suspect this. He should know. He's going to put the eagles in the TC to heal, but he needs the eagles out here. Once that castle goes up, I, I think he's dead. Once you lose your TC, you're done. He's got to deny this castle. He sees the villagers. He's got to get an eagle on the foundation. He's got an eagle on the foundation. No! He flew! 
places it. Oh, Burles will need to go for a castle of his own, but look at this. Vinchester has no chill. 22 villagers. More than half of his economy building this castle. And Burles will be forced to go for a castle of his own. How many villas does he have building this one? Only 19. Oh, he's going to lose a lot. Oh, he might not even get it up. This might not even complete. Chat. <laughs> Vinch will need some god tier garrison ungarrison. It's not. It, this is over. Yeah. The, no. No. It, it's. No. It's. It's. It's not happening. It's definitely not happening. Right? What's the percentage at? 75? 78? 85? He's distracted? It goes up? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. The castle goes up here from Burles. And I believe the food discount applies to petards as well, as we see Vinchester attacking the town center behind. Vinchester also in here with skirms. He's also pressuring in here with some eagles. And Barls just doesn't have any gold to make petards. And now he goes for seven petards. Now the question is, if you're Vinchester, do you go for this town center with your petards? Because I think there's a way you can sneak them past with no mortar holes. To hit the town center. Vinchester. Getting a couple of petards in on Barl's castle. He's also got a tower behind here. Helping him out. Barl's also has a tower. Trying to kill the Vils. But Barl's is down to <laughs> 13 Vils. Hang on a second. <laughs> Didn't realize. 13. Oh no. That was never happening. That was never happening. Great job from Vinchester. Controlling the game from start to finish. Honestly, I think what killed Barls there, obviously Vinchester played really well, but was the god-tier zebra generation at the back. He spent so long looking around for them. He was later to feudal age, later to castle age. He had to place farms earlier, which means he couldn't go for the military production that he wanted to. And he was never able to even fully push these in. Dang. Great job from Vinch, though. I also like how he saw his win condition with that castle, and he sent 22 vils to make sure that thing went up. He's like, if I get this castle up, it's game over. Beautiful. Too many players would send like 10 vils forward to try and do that and try and keep their eco running at home. Vinchester said, I don't need an eco. 10 vils on food and gold will suffice. As long as I have my castle, I don't need anyone else. If only Burles had kept the eagle on the foundation like for 10 seconds longer. It's not impossible. He could have got his own castle up maybe to deny that. I don't know. He was waiting for Castle Age to come in that whole time. All right. So that is a win on Socotra for Vinchester. That's his home map. That's good. And a win with Mines against Incas. Really solid. Really solid. Incas should be slightly favored there. Give me one minute. Got to get some coffee. Bear it back.
This is great coffee music. Yep. <clears throat> Kongan infused coffee music right there. If you know, you know. All right. Binchester playing as Byzantines here on Jungle Rumble. And we have Burles playing as the Portuguese. Too soon? Yeah, I know. So, Jungle Rumble, you start with two town centers. You have to lose both of them to lose the game. Can't add any additional ones, similar to the rest of all of the maps in the pool. And uh, one of these town centers is in the center area here, surrounded by wood. So, you're going to have to chop out to meet up with the rest of your eco. However, there is almost 100,000 gold available in the center. On the outside is where the important stone is available and the relics as well. So yesterday we saw a fantastic game between ACCM and Vilesa. Vilesa had Imperial Age. He had the bigger eco. He had all the advantages. But ACCM had sniped his town center earlier with a petard push. And then he managed to snipe the town center on the outside with petards as well. And Vilesa lost somehow. Somehow. Eight ads. Ads! Eight! Eight ads! Oh my god, dude, this guy is gonna... Listen. This guy's gonna be watching Sudden Disaster, Vinchester versus Burles. He's gonna watch all eight ads. He's gonna come back. I'm not gonna be a full-time streamer anymore. I'm gonna be living in a different country. I'm gonna have children. I'm gonna have I'm gonna be old. <laughs> I'll have gray hair. No, I won't have hair. That's for sure. How did he stack up the bills like this? I I I wanna find a consistent way to do this. Sometimes they just do it, right? Like these these women, sometimes they just stack right up on top of each other, and I don't know how to consistently get them to do that. Minute 15 in their ads in my eco. <laughs> Minute 15 it ads in my economy. Eight ads. Playing at higher volume. Got zero ads this ad break. I think um, people who live in North America get more ads on average. I think that's the case. I think people in Europe get less. That's what I suspect. We always get the same one. What is it? Is it like Mercedes or something? Turbo required to watch? Yeah, I have Twitch Turbo. I would, I would suggest you get Twitch Turbo as well. Although they up the price of it. I got a Bigfoot movie twice. You got an ad for a Bigfoot movie. Okay. All right. So Byzantines against Portuguese. Uh, probably both um, trying for a fast Imperial Age. We might see Brawls attempt a castle drop forward on Vinchester to try and get that position. Vinchester will stay a little bit longer in the Dark Age. And then Feudal Age will just be Mark a Blacksmith. Once he gets at the castle, he'll go for a defensive castle most likely. If Barls hasn't pushed him back here, then he might go for an aggressive one and then make his way to Imperial Age with the cheaper Byzantine imp and the higher HP castles. Also higher HP TC, so he has more survivability than Barls does. VPN counters ads. So it's like rock, paper, scissors. We have VPN, ad, and... Ad blocker? Sub. VPN, add, and sub. I see. I think I like Byzantines better here. Yeah, so do I. Portuguese are nice. You're never going to get to the point in the game, unlikely anyway, that you'll need a Fatoria. As now both players coming out to try and wall this side here. Barls is here with a villager earlier, though. And the scout. Less HP on the Villager from Vinchester, but less HP on the Scout from Brawls. And that means the Vinchester's 
actually going to win this engagement. But Brawl's going to hang around. Brawl's is a, is a BF guy. Remember that. He ain't afraid of no villager wars. He's not afraid at all. Now he's in the feudal age faster. So his scout is actually stronger than Vinchester's. And he's going to take full advantage of that. And he's going to kill the scout from Vinch. However, his scout is one hit away from death. And his villager is still weaker. So unless he can get this scout involved somehow, um, he's not going to win this one. And Vinchester will likely just pull back and complete the wall. That's why he's out here in the first place. Barrels, Market Blacksmith over on this side. Resources are looking good to buy some food. And he should be up into the castle age shortly. And he's already on stone over here. So the game plan is def definitely what I theorized earlier. The forward castle drop. Vinchester will know this because that's pretty meta on this map. You really want to take control of this middle area first because there's such a distance between your outer economies. It's not really feasible unless you go for a sneak to harass this area. Plus, if you kill all the stuff in the middle before they can chop out, you're basically eliminating half of your opponent's economy. So it's a it's a really, really consistent, solid play to do that. Stonewall behind from Burles. Castle Age on the way. And Vinchester will go for an archery range. Okay. Blacksmith Market Archery Range. He's only building with one vill. Maybe he wants to deny the castle forward from Barls, but I don't know if he hits the timing. Like, I don't know if one or two archers is going to be enough. He is patrolling in this area. And Barls has a weakened scout. I think he took the boar or the elephants in with the scout earlier. Maybe it's enough, guys. Maybe it's enough to deny that. Archer's coming out. Castle Age on the way for Vinch. Spearman as well. Like, even if you could just keep a Spearman, maybe a couple archers hovering around and, and, and sitting on these areas, you'll force the castle back into the center, and that benefits you for sure. Both players trying to chop through the sides. This is standard stuff. You see they both have like four trees left to go. Tons of trees left to chop to escape this main area too. Okay, Castle Age is in. And Barls will go for a castle where? He's actually going University Monastery. So he's just trying to click up to Imperial Age as fast as possible. And Vinchester is still adding archers. One good thing with Byzantines here is Town Watch, Town Patrol. You're going to get a lot of vision. If you go for an outpost like this, you'll be able to see them chopping. You'll be able to see the villagers coming forward if you have outposts on other sides. And the villagers are actually coming forward here from Vinchester. Or else still without a castle. And it's still wide open. If he wanted to, like, press in from this side and drop a castle on this TC, that'd be a, a pretty outrageous play, but it is a possibility now. However, there is an outpost over there from Vinch. And there's tons of outposts here. And once he gets the castle age, that vision, bop, will expand. He'll see the castle. He'll see everything on this side. Absolutely everything. Castle double monastery. So that tells him... With the timing of these, the Barls is already on the way to Imperial Age. And that Barls is going to go for a monk push. Monk trip. Maybe some organs mixed in. What a terrible way or day to be literate at Lars07. <laughs> That's just your average... Lars experience. <laughs> I 
I feel that energy. Wheelbarrow and Imperial Age now on the way for Vinchester, but he's two minutes behind his opponent. Now, Barls doesn't see that castle, right? He doesn't know. He's going to lose the organ probably to it. Cl Ooh! My guy dodged that. And he'll have to go for a second castle here, surely, to push that back. That's a Byzantine castle. You need double trap production, right? Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. What he could... What we haven't seen on this map is the roaming band of trebuchets. You go for a couple organs and a couple monks, which you already have. You make like four trebs. You cut through the wood line here. You kill this TC. And then you bring the band of trebuchets all the way around here. You cut into the back and take out the TC. Thoughts? It's a nomadic clan of trebuchet. Easy win. I mean, it would take so long. <laughs> it would be so micro-intensive, too. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a chair. Yo, leftover Matt. Thank you for the 13 months, man. 12 months LFG. <clears throat> Do you see the Viper Tato game on this map? No. They played too early for me. 6,240 HP on that castle. And heresy in again from Vinch. In addition to the crossbows that he's been slowly adding. Crossbows with Bracer plus heresy. Should be a really decent solution to this monk push from Burles. But Burles isn't really making any more monks right now. I say that and he queues up three more. Chemistry is in, by the way. So he can go for Bombard Cannons. There's no Monk defense here from Vinch. He's got Heresy to stop his crossbows from being converted. To stop his Bombard Cannons from being converted once he has Chemistry himself. But he doesn't really have anything to deal with the Bombard Cannons from Barls. So there's a piece missing here in the composition from Vinchester. Arbalist is too expensive at this point, I think. I think you need more crossbows to justify that. And that castle is going to go down. It's bought him a ton of time, though. It has bought him a lot of time. Imagine if... Uh, um... Oh, brother. Thank God. <laughs> Imagine if that castle had been here from Burles. That town center would have already been dead. And Barls will try and convert these. He needs to back up. So he doesn't lose those easily. He's actually killing them now with the trebuchets. And he'll he'll see those units dying and he'll know that it's not his opponent deleting. It's simply not his opponent deleting. He'll see that one dying too. There's no way he can know which ones are targeted. That is 100% heresy. Siege Workshop still a living. Still living. And good attack rounds from Vinchester. Attack rounding in between those two traps. He gets both of them. So the pressure continues to be stalled out here from Barls. And the eco behind. Look at the res that Vinchester is floating. It's really, really good. I don't know. If you're Barls, I don't know if you want to chop here. Continue chopping here. You might just want to leave that alone. You are getting dangerously close from having your exterior eco exposed. And what a play from Vinch. The crossbows controlling the monks, even controlling the bomber cannons. He's got bomber cannons of his own, so that was the missing piece from before. The unit to control the trebs and the bomber cannons from, uh, from Barls. And he's still holding them in. He also has a relic over here. Two relics. It is still wide open on this side, by the way. However, Barls really isn't expediting taking out this wood line. Never mind. He is. There's a trap. I lied. 
Don't pack it up, bro. You just... What? And now he's unpacking it again. Like... <laughs> Okay. Could it just hit the stop command? If you ever un accidentally unpack or pack your trebuchet and you're like, oh crap, I didn't want to do that. Just hit the stop command. It'll immediately go back to the way it was. With no delay. He tried to shift click a tree. Yeah. Krebs are dumb. And I think there's a way there is a way through now. But Brawl's clicked too early. Brawl's clicked too early and he's busy on this side. He's trying to convert all these bomber cannons. Arbalist is in. For Vinchester and Brawl. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Brawl's had a moment of panic. <laughs> He clicked his villagers through to the outside. There was still a tree, and they decide to go this way because of it. This is clear cut from Vinchester now. Brawls has pulled the villagers away on this side, but Vinchester is going to chop through, and he's going to go after this town center from Brawls, and this town center will not be alive for very much longer. Brawls will need to get this castle up. He'll need to snipe down this TC. And then he'll need to come in from the backside and try and take the other TC. But the Trebs are still pathing really badly around this. The Vils are super visible because of Town Patrol. Like, there is no, no surprise here. We know what's happening if you're Vinchester. Or you should know, anyway, what's happening. But he is distracted over on the other side. And he's distracted here, too. Brother. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he just wants to push this. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> you can see the red dots. The Trev is now moving its way through. I think Brawl should try and, you know, kill this as soon as possible. And with the castle here, you can even... You can make an argument to ignore killing this TC. He's just going to try and sneak this tread through, cut through on the side, and get this town center. He also needs to make sure that he keeps himself alive here, though. There's a lot of organ guns against those Arbalists, but there's a lot of Bombard cannons here from Vinchester. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. There's six of them as Brawls tried to go for another castle foundation, and it got killed immediately! It got killed immediately! Oh, no! Oh, no. So many Arbalists going down, but there's always more to replace the ones that died. As the Trep rolls around, he's hoping that it's open here. It's not. And he loses both the Bombard Cannons. It's over. GG. Well played from Vinch. What a solid approach from him. Byzantines against Portuguese. Burl's got the castle up over here. The TC was just about to fall, but there was another one remaining. And this treb, it just wasn't close enough. There might have been an area where they could set up right here and range that. I don't think so, but maybe it would have been a range. So maybe there was a way he could win, but yeah. Let's take a look at that uh, castle foundation. I'm pretty sure he placed another castle here. So that castle falls. He places another. Oh, God, dude. Look at that. Watch this. Cannonball. Oh. This one. Castle falls. He places another one. And bop. It dies immediately. See you later, 650 stone. So nice to know you. Unlucky? I mean, it's not unlucky. You, should, you shouldn't put a castle there when it's being attacked by six Bombard cannons. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if he gets that foundation up. It's dead in another two seconds anyway. Shoot where the castle is going to be, Wayne Gretzky. Good quote. Yeah.
The great one. He knows his stuff. The economy was so much better for Vinch, too. Dang, dude. Byzantines? Just better there, maybe. Okay, win for the Byzantines. Second Civ drafted overall, but first civilization for Barls with the Portuguese. And that's a loss on one of Barls' home maps. I was more of a Mario Lemieux fan. I mean, who's not a Mario Lemieux fan, right? Great player. But Gretzky is the great one. Yo, Matt, thank you for the 13 months, man. Sunflash, thank you for the gifted sub. Yager is better than Lemieux. Um, Lemieux is a better player. Yager probably had the better career. Longevity. And Yager was definitely tougher than Lemieux. What's a great ski? Wayne Gretzky, my friend. Messier for intangibles. I mean... If I was going to build a team around a player, Messi is on that list for sure. He's dirty, though. He was dirty. Anyone remember when he put Mike Medano? Well, you probably don't remember, but maybe have. Uh, he hurt Mike Medano. And put him out of the game. And then they were stretching Medano off. And the broadcast switches to the stretcher being loaded into the ambulance. And they drop the stretcher. They drop it on live TV. The paramedics drop the stretcher on the ground. <laughs> the commentator's like, oh my god, did you just see that? They just dropped Mike Medano. I can't believe we just saw that. <laughs> All right, suburbs is in. Regicide settings for suburbs. So you have more res, but you also have a king. If you lose the king, you're out. Uh, you have three town centers. If you lose all three, you're out. It's very common for both players to lose one or two TCs. You got to lose all three, though. Starting TC positions are a little random, but on this one, they actually both have good starting town centers. This castle is in an extremely unfortunate position for Finch. <laughs> That's just, it's a very cozy castle. It looks very picturesque, you know? I love the Japanese castle design, uh, and I love the trees with the snow on it, but it's a difficult position to get units out of. Japanese is also an interesting civ. I don't think I've seen it on this map before and i wonder what the approach is gonna be is it just good eco into is it really even a good eco it's not cheaper lumber camps and mills don't really matter here it's just fast imperial into treb monk tower Japanese CA attack bonus versus Elephant Archer. I'm not sure Elephant Archer is the play, bro. They're probably just... Just go, like, Bengalis would just go Skirm. Yo, Lottie, thank you for the 14 months, man. Thanks for all the follows today, too, guys. Japanese is puzzling? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, Bengalis is super good here, right? You get two villagers per TC per age. So that's six villagers in Dark Age, or Feudal Age. Six villagers in Castle Age and six villagers in Imperial Age. And if you've been keeping track and you're good at math, that is a grand total of 18 villagers. Extra. Free. You did the math? I am I always do the math, dude. I had NASA run the calcs. Champions. Hmm. You watching Shogun? No, but I plan to. I also heard that... Um, I saw someone saying, uh, is it dark 
Is it a good Netflix series? What's it called? Is it Dark? Is that the name of it? Dark is good. Okay. German show. Okay, so we're getting people saying it is good. All right, so I might I might check that out. I haven't I haven't the last TV series that I watched I started on Reacher season 2 cuz I enjoyed season 1 so much and I was kind of disappointed by season 2 and I stopped watching it. Dark is a solid pseudo intellectual show. <laughs> Watch Lost? I've already seen Lost, dude. Many times. First two seasons of Lost are some of the best TV I've ever seen. So compelling, bro. You just you you just don't want to stop watching. When they're introducing the characters, oh my god. But uh it got weird. Brooklyn nine nine? No. I've seen clips from it. Looks okay, but Not really the style of TV show I want to watch. All right. Feudal age for both. Rawls is ahead on Vils, and he's going to be even more ahead by the time he gets to feudal age. Winchester with the Japanese. We're asking questions, right? We're, we're figuring out why he wants to go for this. He could go for castle drops. He's found the town center over here, and that is a standard play. To go for a double castle drop if you're faster to castle age. One on the one TC to the side and the other on the other TC over here. And Barls has gone for the houses forward because he knows what's going to happen. But he hasn't made them forward enough. Like you could still sneak a castle right here. You could put a castle right here. You could even put a castle like, well, not over here, but in this area. And it can, it can continue to range that TC. No matter what you are planning on watching, just do not start with Rings of Power. I watched the whole first season of Rings of Power. I really, as a, as a Lord of the Rings fan, and as someone who has really explored the extended lore of Lord of the Rings, I will tell you for a fact that I have never made more use of the 10 second skip button than I did with that show. Holy was it bad. I can't believe they wasted so much money on that. The show was traumatically bad. Well, they had some good they had some good music, they had some good cinematography and stuff. Um some of the acting was okay, but the the show revolves around Galadriel and it just ruined her character for me. Such an interesting character from the original Lord of the Rings, and they just made her a spoiled brat. And it's just, it's so weird because she's like 4,000 years old at that time. All right. So, outposts, regardless of that. Outposts here for Brawls. He's exploring. He's going to make sure that the castles don't go forward on him, or if they do, he's going to know in advance. And they're really, really similar castle age times. Like, Brawls is 10 seconds ahead of uh, Vinchester right now. Or less. So, even if someone drops a castle, the other player will have enough stone to drop a defensive castle and potentially deny it. I'm not sure which was worse, though. Rings of Power or Wheel of Time? Because Wheel of Time is, is probably my favorite book series of all time. And they, oh, they butchered that one. Holy. <laughs> I couldn't even finish the first season, really. I think, actually, maybe I did. I don't know. This Scout War doesn't mean all that much. This means something, though. The villagers are coming forward. Vinchester knows about this. Brawls knows that Vinchester knows. And Vinchester knows... That Barls knows that he knows. So it's all about the timings here and when they get to Castle Age and where the castle can be positioned. And Barls is looking at this. He's thinking, man, that's a lot of Vils. But I'm in Castle Age first. 
And Vinchester's thinking, I have more vills. I could maybe even deny this castle if I harass with the scout enough. 11 villagers building the castle from Burles. 16 villagers building the castle from Vinchester. And my man, Samurai Jack, coming in from the side, is going to disrupt the building process. He's attacking one villager at a time to try and stall this out as long as possible, but the castle will eventually go up for Burles, and he's just losing some of those villager... Burles? water everywhere it's dripping onto me ah <laughs> and it does go up she completes it oh she completes it the castle is alive but damn barls took the villagers off of the castle to build the siege workshop and he got insta punished for it insta punished meanwhile on the other side there's another castle forward from barls and maybe that's why he was preoccupied i'm trying to contain the the seepage from the drink that I spilled everywhere. And Burles, yeah, he still has a villager advantage because of Bengalis. And he's been killing a few villagers from Vinchester. Vinchester has also had a little bit more idle TC time. And Burles still has the elephants, so he's still in a really good, solid position here. As the samurai will take out those elephants. But man, Vinchester is a minute away from Imperial Age, and... If he keeps the samurai protecting his stuff against those elephants, he might be able to tread down all of the castles from Burles. Burles is going to attempt another castle over here, and he's getting murder holes. Burles is getting murder holes, and now it's dripping onto my lap. Oh, God. It's a disaster. I don't have any paper. I don't have any. I have a towel. Okay, the castle goes up and the castle will go down shortly because Imperial Age gives him access to trebuchets. But Barles has 102 villagers versus 84. Murder Holes is big though. Like Murder Holes is real big. I don't know if Vinchester's gonna realize that Murder Holes is in. He might just commit with these Samurai. He's actually pulling them away now. Barles has castles surrounding this town center. Still got this castle forward here. Still getting value with this castle with murder holes. As he tries to send more elephants after this. And Kata Peruto instantly from Vinchester. So we can see the idea behind Japanese. He really wants Kata Peruto. Will it come in on time though? There's an elephant attacking this castle. And it should have enough HP to complete Kata Peruto. Burl's castle has 19 kills, 20 kills now on these samurai. And Burl's is going to try and push in here. This is a crazy suburbs game. It's a wild suburbs game. It's, it's a complete variance in strategies, right? Vinchester wanted to get to Imperial Age as fast as possible. Wanted to get Cat to Peruto so he could instantly pack and unpack his trebuchets. And he could snipe the TCs from Burles. Burles wanted the castles forward. And he wants to take advantage of the elephants. And no way he's trying to complete this with just six villagers. And he's got elephants pushing too. He hasn't even taken out the forward TCs. There's trebs coming from behind. And he's trying to castle drop the town center at the front. As he still tries to take out this castle. And his castle has killed God knows how many samurai. I think his castle has killed at least 25 samurai. I don't know how many kills of those are eco. Nine. Okay, so he's killed 23 samurai. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, the bills are still alive. Don't worry, guys. The Vils are still here, and he goes through another Siege Workshop as he continues to take out this TC. Or attempt to, rather. Ratha are coming in. They will attempt to take out the Trebs. The Samurai do quite well against the Ratha. 
And once the Trebs take out the castle, they can roll forward and start, you know, hit and running these town centers. This is a crazy game. Just wild, man. Brawls has 128 bills behind this. 128 bills. He's trying to keep this siege workshop alive. The Ratha are dying. The Trebs are unpacking and running away. The siege workshop is up. But there's going to be a defensive castle here from Winchester. Burles needs to maybe settle down. The eco disparity is, disparity is huge. 13 on food right now for Winchester. 34 on food for Burles. Just one of the, the like one of the games of the tournament already. 100%. And Cataparuto is going to be huge. Look at how fast those Trebs unpack. Imperial Age is coming in for Burles. Will he still be alive by the time he gets there? Double armored elephant, guys. Even if Brawls kills this TC, he's got two more TCs to go. He's got two more town centers to kill. Brawls still has villagers over here. Don't tell me he's going to castle drop this one. He's trying to kill all these Trebs. And he's got a lot of Wrathas. Like, he's got 16 Wrathas. So he's going to kill both of these Trebs, but he still has to deal with this roaming pack of Trebs over here and this one's still attacking the town center and he backs away from the samurai so it will continue to attack the town center meanwhile over here three armored elephants <clears throat> the king oh he could kill the tc and then kill the king maybe if the wrath were over there but they're not right they're over here they're trying to protect samurai trebuchet unbelievable level of gaming going on here from Vinchester. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> and the king from Pearls? I mean, that could get killed by Trebuchet. Catapruto have been waiting 20 years for this moment. True. <gasps> the armored elephant push was noticed by Vinchester and he took it down. Damn, dude. Damn. The eco is kind of insane from Burles. Once again, try and kill these Trebs. And once again, lose a lot of Ratha in the process. Winchester is at 127 villagers. Is that 127 villagers? Ew. What a great job he's done to keep expanding his eco behind this. Winchester is playing amazing here. No eco upgrades for anyone. They ain't got time for that. <laughs> There's no time for that. Elite skirm now for Vinchester. Elite, or sorry, Siege Elephant for Barls. Parthian Tactics, Bracer, Handcart now. And another Siege Workshop for Barls on this side. <laughs> He's not giving up. <laughs> siege Elephants, man. Oh, boy. One town center remaining. One king remaining. For Vinchester to win. Still three town centers or the king. For Brawls to win. And does Vinchester see? He sees an outpost. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. But he's advancing forward. Earls needs to be real careful against these Cataparuto Trebs. Real, real careful. He goes for another Siege Workshop, guys. He was saving up for Elite Elephant Archer. Only five of them. So how he's going to be able to afford um, Elephant Archer production and Siege Elephant production is a question. And I think that probably wasn't the wisest decision. You could probably get like 10 extra elephant archers for the cost of that. And they would be far more useful than the elite upgrade. Wrath are chasing these inside.
more elephant archers coming out, but it's only six. What's the armor upgrades look like for Vinchester? Non-existent. He has no upgrades on these skirms. He's only got the range upgrades. But it's enough. It's enough to support the Trebs. Even the villagers coming out here trying to take out the Trebs. They're not going to do anything with a samurai protecting. Siege Elephant is here trying to push, but the samurai are here as well. And the samurai will... Oh my god. The samurai will just fry the Ratha. Can Barls do anything here? Elite Elephant Archer is attempting to hold the line. He's got 10 of them now. But it feels like these Trebs are just moving forward at a really good pace. I would absolutely love if he sniped the king here with these Trebs. What does Winchester see? He's going to push forward. He's so close to seeing that king, he will, he will target the castle, which is probably the correct play based on what he sees right now. Still trying to get in on this side is Burles, and he might actually manage to kill that TC. And Burles is king. Oh no, he garrisoned it, and now it's going into the front lines. Oh! <laughs> Touchdown! Touchdown! Oh my god! <laughs> Touchdown! King is down! The king is down by a stray shot. They didn't mean to shoot that. They were aiming for the gate. The king was in the gate. The rock came from the heavens. And the king is now dead. The king is dead. The greatest accidental king snipe we've ever seen in Age of Empires history. We're going to replay it again. Unbelievable. That's a win for Vinchester with the Japanese here. We've never seen it on Suburbs. Look at this. He targets. Okay. So the castle goes down here, right? He targets onto the gate. You can see all these trebs attacking the gate. The king is following the waypoint. He comes out. Oh! <laughs> oh. My. God. And Burles and Vinchester must be thinking, what happened? <laughs> that happened. Oh, man. That is incredible. After one of the most entertaining games in a very long time, my pants are wet. My whole gaming setup is soaked because I spilled my water when I slapped the desk. But it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. Thank you for being here with me. Betsy, thank you for the resub. Thanks for the follows, guys. This is an amazing set. KD, or sorry, raisings to losses ratio is not very good here for Vinchester. KD is a little bit better. Eco is better overall for brawls. But Vinchester did a fantastic job recovering from all that pressure. It's not easy to, to get the farms up and... Keep your TCs running and whatnot when you're literally being pressured on three different sides. Metal Face, thank you for the eight months, man. <sighs> wow. And you know what's funny about that? It never would have happened if Brawls was paying attention. It wasn't paying attention to the king. So the king was sitting here. He garrisoned the king because he realized he was exposed. He put it in the castle, which died. Then the king followed the waypoint, which just happened to be under the hail of trebuchet shot. Well, on to the next one. On to the next one. I could sit there all day talking about that sequence of events. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Japanese win with Kata. His entire strategy was, I guess I'll just make Samurai and Trebs. Is this turning considered S tier? In my heart, it is. But not on Wikipedia, no. 
All right, now we slow things down a little bit. We slow them down just a little bit. We go into arena. However, I'm saying we're going to slow things down. I suspect that Vinchester will attempt to go for um, a tower rush here. Because that's usually what he does on arena. Unless the walls are like 1800 HP like we saw in Titans League. You couldn't tower rush. These walls are 1080 HP. And I would suspect with Italians, Vinches is going to try something like that. He could play a little bit more meta. Barls is playing Turks though. And you want to try and shut down the Turks early with some sort of aggression. So the classic Vinchester rush, which has been patented on arena by many people been copied. He's still one of the best at it is send the villagers forward early, make a tower, make an archer range, put the archers in the tower, have the villas constantly pushing forward and take over your opponent's forward resources and front side of the base. Your opponent will attempt to go fast castle and get siege out to counter it. But if you've done it well enough, you've probably delayed them or killed vills along the way. And you have enough towers up here. It buys you time to get to castle age yourself and maybe get the relics or, you know, a castle drop forward on their base. When we're looking at Barls' base, this would be a prime setup for a tower push against him. Gold forward, berries forward, stone forward. He's got a gold in the back, which is good for him, but the stone forward is extremely concerning. Watch me explain this whole situation, then Vinchester doesn't even go for that. Could be the case as well. Maybe next year we'll get an S tier sudden death tournament. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't make it better, you know? I feel like it would make it a little worse in some ways. More meta. People just seem to not... I don't want to say they don't care as much here, but they're not tryharding as much, which means that we get a lot of really entertaining games. Knowing you're playing Vinch, would it be worth towering the front of your base early? No. No. If you, like, where are you going to tower? Tower here? What if he pushes in over here? Or over here? What if he doesn't push at all? And then you're stuck in the Feudal Age, and he's going fast castle, and you're not pressuring him. And then you just look like an idiot. There's no like preemptive measures to counter a tower rush on arena because you're just nuking yourself if you do it. The only preemptive measures you could go for is like a preemptive wall behind with your houses. And Barls has actually made the houses forward. I think Barls wins this game. Yeah, Turks are better than Italians. They should be anyway. Italians are just a very good sieve on basically all maps, but they're not great. Unless you're playing like a pure water map. Feels like Italians are like top 15 on every map. <laughs> Sit. <clears throat> you could ask nicely in chat for your opponent to simply not tower rush. You could do that, yeah. All right, let's see. How much food does he have? 280 food in his arms, right? And he's up. So it is likely to be a tower push. He is sending two villagers over here, though. So maybe not. Maybe this is just like a super fast castle. No, it's Vinchester. Why did I even question it? It's Vinchester. Here we go. Four vills come forward. Barracks in the center here. It's going to be a tower forward around this area, probably. And then an archer range to back it up. Let's take a look at what Barls can see. Not much. 
has a scout back here. He knows he's, I think he knows that Vinchester is going to go for this strat. Like he knows he's going to be later to the feudal age. So he's keeping his, his scout at home. He's gone for the houses here. This is where he doesn't want Vinchester to break in with the Vils. Apparently he's willing to give up this side of his base. And Vinchester does not see the houses behind. So Vinchester probably wants to push over here so he can kind of deny this gold as part of his push. And he's going to show up here just on time. He'll go for the tower. Burls will be in Feudal Age soon. And Burls can go for a double layer of stone wall behind all of this before that tower is up. Yeah, that's that's just brutal. That's just really brutal for Vince. You're looking at this like, oh, God. And that's just Burls reading Vince like a book. However, there have been other people that have read this strategy from Vinchester that knew it was coming and have died to it. So we'll see if Barls can survive. Barls did go up earlier. So it's not like a super optimal fast castle type of play. And the reason he went up earlier is that he is so that he could have uh, access to these stone walls and, and do exactly this and keep them out. Don't, no, Burls, no, he's losing bills. Oh, God, he lost one. It's fine. It's fine. You'll exchange a bill for that. Burls will now go for the stone over here. Vinchester might be able to range that with Fletching. And Burls goes for a market. He goes for a blacksmith as well. Oof, oof. Got to bring this guy back, yeah. This is the extent of Brawls' food eco right now. This one sheep and this one villager on berries. But he has enough resources to click up to Castle Age. Just needs to wait for this blacksmith. It's there, and he's up to the Castle Age. It's also on stone. And, you know... If you still see this this scout here, I think you can make an argument for trying to make a forward castle on your opponent. Is it risky? Yes. Is it entertaining? Also, yes. Oh, she died, dude! No! Oh my god. My man researched ballistic missile arrow technology in order to get her at the maximum possible range with a stray arrow. And that is the second villager that Barls has lost. And now, well, Barls is going to need to buy all of his stone. He's going to need to spend all of his gold to buy that because he can't access this anymore. And this will force the castle back defensively 100%. Vinchester has spent a long time pushing through here. And Vinchester is still very far away from Castle H himself. But it feels like he will get through this in time to punish this castle position from Barls. If Barls can even afford a castle. Remember, he's got no stone income. It's just all gold. He's selling everything for gold so he can buy stone. And stone is 176 gold now. And he needs to buy a bunch more or send villagers over here to gather 11. We need 11 stone. We need 11 stone, bro. You don't want to buy 200 more stone. Oh, this is tragic. Oh, this is tragic. Oh, he needs to sell everything. To buy 11 more stone. He He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He bought it. Oh, God. Vinchester has successfully nuked the eco from Burles, but now he has to contend with a castle, which will take out this tower. Uh, he has to contend with Janissaries, which are very dangerous. And he has to start working on his economy behind the scenes.
delete the unfinished wall. Ooh. Would that have been enough? I don't think so. Would have been close, though. Brawls can't make Janissaries, really? You just wait, bro. He's got a market. He can do whatever he wants. See? They're on the way. So basically, Tower Rush by Vinch was a failure? Well, think of the... I'm going to say no. Uh, think of the alternative to this. If he didn't go for the Tower Rush here, what sort of situation would he be in in this game? This castle would probably either be forward... Or it would have been up minutes ago. And Janissaries would be on the center here, controlling the entire map. But right now, Burles is stuck in his base. He's streaming out Janissaries one at a time. His eco is still really tragic. And Vinchester is on the way to Castle Age with a better economy than him. And the res collected is, yeah, it's an advantage for Vinchester. Appreciate you. Yo, Trooper, I appreciate you as well, dude. Thanks for the 11 months, man. I think, like, the Tower Rush was not a success, but it wasn't a failure. And and that's, that's a win in and of itself against Turks, because Turks are just so strong here in Arena. These Janissaries are like, don't touch me. Do not come near me. I have a gun. They touched him with arrows, and now he's dead. Petards? And a siege workshop from Burles. Does Vinchester see this? He does. He doesn't see the petards, though. He does not see the petard. It's only one. Ooh. Winchester will go for another archer range back here. He's going to save his archers. And Barls, his economy is still tragic. But he has, you know, something Barls has done here, which is quite impressive. He has kept this TC running fairly well. It's only a minute and 37 seconds of idle TC time after that push earlier. Yeah, Feudal Age Walls dies to the Petard. So he's right on time before Castle Age comes in from Vinch. If he, if he was in Castle Age, it would take two petards to kill it. Ooh! Nice micro from Vinchester. Burl's realizing he can't deny the castle with the Mangonel. What he can do is take out the archers and deny uh, the crossbow numbers. So Vinchester saving those archers is really valuable. And now Vinchester has a castle up of his own. And cheaper Imperial Age for Italians means that he's actually not that far away from going up to him. Getting Bracer, which could be really nice against the Janissaries. Getting Treb access, which could be really nice here. Still has a villager and a crossbow forward in this tower too. And that continues to be annoying now that it has Bodkin Arrow. It can range the stone. Rolls really needs eco upgrades? Bro. He's been at the limit for everything. I think those might be the least of his concerns at the moment. Condos could be good. They could be, yep. Rooster, thank you for the 39 months. At tier three. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. Horse Caller. Big upgrade coming here from Burles. Imperial Age is about to be clicked from Vinchester. And Vinchester might just end this series right here, right now. In this arena game. I mean, the Tower Rush bought him so much time. He's going to continue to kill villagers over here. Burles will need to pull away. And now Burles has to contend with a defensive castle on this side from Vinch. Like, he can't take out that town center. Retreat to the Light Brigade. Welcome back, brother. Thank you for the 28 months. 
Thank you. Smile indeed. You could manganel your way to the TC from this side? You could. It's going to take a long time, though. We could see something like what Kingston did against Tato. If you remember that game. Oh, God. That game was ridiculous. Where he was in the back of Tato's base. Tato had a defensive castle right beside the town center, and he still lost it. <laughs> What about a Ram Janny push? That's what he's attempting right now. He's going for petards as well. And he's sending villagers forward. So Brawls realizes Vinchester is on the way to him. Wisely attack grounding behind this wall so he doesn't damage his own Ram. He knows Vinch is on the way to Imperial Age. He knows if he just plays the standard, he's going to lose this game. But look at this. Another castle from Vinchester. It's kind of good for Burls. Like, that castle will deny this from taking out the TC, or it should anyway. But it's kind of good for Burls that he forced that back there. So Burls, even if this doesn't work, which it probably won't, he's buying himself a lot more time to get everything sorted behind. To get some res in the bank. And he goes for a castle of his own. Oh, God. Imperial Age is going to be in for Vinch. Can this work for Barls? Take out the market could be huge, actually. Yo, if Vinchester loses this game because he runs out of wood and he can't buy wood because he doesn't have a market because Barls took it out earlier. <sighs> Giga brain play potential. More petards coming. Ballistics is in from Vinchester. He can snipe down all of these petards if he really needs to. He's going for more houses. He still doesn't have a market. This castle can still not range this TC. Barls is repairing the castle with everything he's got. He's just going to push. Dude, he's just going to push two castles on either side. And my man is gaming with petards right now. Why would you make castle an opponent's face when you know he's going in? Bro, because if you kill this CC, it's game over, and you're going to lose if you play standard. Do you understand? This isn't about decision-making anymore. This is about willpower. You don't kill his CC, though? Stop being so negative. Carl's has to give it a shot. And this is a disaster. Vinchester needs to target the petards. Here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. The Janissaries are trying to guard them so that Vinchester will attack the wrong units. And boom, the Maganel is also attacking the TC. Burles calls the GG. Oh my God, it was so close though. It was so close. If even two more of those petards had connected with the TC, it would have gone through, and Vinchester didn't have a market to buy wood. But the double castle stack prevails. Imagine, ima okay, imagine this scenario. Vinchester does not have ballistics because he felt like he didn't need it on his crossbows or he didn't want to invest into it. I think that works because the castles can't hit the petards. Petards can garrison and rams? No, they can't. Can you replay? Oh, everything was blocking everything there, dude. The Janissaries were blocking. The Rams were blocking. He comes in with these. Janissaries are blocking. Rams are blocking. Oh, man. Oh, three of those died right here. Oh, man. You can't send the petards in alone. You have to have the Rams and the Janissaries there to make it difficult for Vinchester to click those units. That's why he had them all around there. 
That's why there is so much confusion and bumping around of the units. You can't separate the groups because Winchester just kills those automatically with both castles. Needed to just move command the ram past the TC to tank. It's very difficult, bro. You got to keep it near the petards. So, so the large hitbox there, you're hoping that Winchester accidentally right clicks it. Do you have a cold or a new mic? No, no. I have a new mic as of two weeks ago. And it's early in the morning, so my sinuses are still clearing, but... You can't garrison petards and rams, no. Can't put them in rams. <laughs> 